Hello everyone, and welcome to Blackout in Crater Valley, a Dungeon Crawl Classics funnel. Um, so, welcome. Uh, um, we're going to start by creating characters. This is our first time playing Dungeon Crawl Classics on the stream. So, um... Oh, this overlay is nice. Uh, yes, yeah, very good. Overlay <laughs> courtesy of Soup. It's amazing as always. I did um, it in a day, but... and I'm very proud of it. <laughs> um, which it means really well we spent. we have to probably play again because this overlay is too good to never use again. Yeah, no, I so... mean, I, my schedule is opened up, so I can probably add a one shot to um, my uh, to my calendar. So, um, and we'll see who survives. To make it to level one. Okay. Um, so, we're going to start with character creation. Um, Dungeon Crawl Classics is uh, an OSR game, so it, it, it does things the old way. Um, and a f But the funnel is kind of unique to Dungeon Crawl Classics. So, you're going to create four zero-level characters. Some of them may not survive. Uh, if Also, if that makes you uncomfortable that the idea that they might permanently die, some of them may be written out of this adventure. It is... Uh, they are teenagers. If they simply go, fuck this, I'm going home, I was attacked by someone. Yeah, that's great. That totally fits. Uh, oh, and thank you, Jay and Marty, for subscribing, as always. Um, okay, but Blackout in Crater Valley is, uh, 80s themed. Uh, we're in the, uh, small town of Crater Valley. Uh, it's 1980 or something. Um, and, uh, let's create characters. So, uh, I sent you all character sheets. There are... Uh, there are six stats in uh, Dungeon Crawl Classics. Uh, strength, Agility, Stamina. Strength, Dex, and Constitution in Dungeons & Dragons parlance. Uh, intelligence, Intelligence. Personality is Charisma and Wisdom kind of put together. And then Luck. So Luck is something new to Dungeon Crawl Classics, or unique to Dungeon Crawl Classics. You will have a Luck score, uh, which will determine how... Uh, will. You can add it to your crit tables when you roll on your crit table and you uh, subtract it from your fumble tables so it makes crits better and fumbles worse. Uh, you can also burn points of luck to increase your d20 rolls. So your luck score, let's say your luck score is 9. If you rolled a 12, you know, you added your strength of 1. Um... Uh, the 13, and you think a 14 would hit, you can permanently burn one point of luck to bring your score to eight uh, to increase that roll. Um, okay. Uh, okay. So, in order to create characters, roll 3d6 six times in order. So, 3d6 strength... 3d6 agility, stamina, personality, and so forth. Uh, and note that, uh, if you don't mind, do that four times for each character. And then we'll move on to the next bit. I was wrong. 3d6 six, six times. In order. Four times? Yes, so you're going to be rolling it 24 times, basically. Oh my gosh, oh. this is too much math already. <laughs> I, if you would like, I can generate them for you all right now. No, it's okay. Because that, that's that more no problem. This way. Oh, I'm wait. I'm not don't prepared to have to pick uh... up three character names. Oh, uh, I'm going to do... My idea was to do the Britneys from, what was it, Recess? <laughs> yes. So the I'm going to be Britney A. Oh, no, I can make Teen Girl Squad. <laughs> Girl oh, Squad. No. Teen Girl Squad. Uh, the, the Ashleys, I think they were called. I don't remember. Oh, the Ashleys. Oh, yes, the Ashleys. Yes. But this is legally distinct. It's legally uh, distinct, so these are the Britneys. Yeah, the Britneys. I, all... You're never... Oh, sorry. 
Yeah, because I can never remember how do you spell Brittany, so they're all going to be spelled differently. Perfect. Oh, shit. Oops, I just, I just rolled a 16. This is this is my more optimized character, I guess. This is the one who sur who you hope will survive. Oh my god! This uh, everything except strength and personality, just insane. Well, that's a four. <laughs> Don't worry, a four is only a. Uh... Minus Another two. four. Ooh. <laughs> well, we know who's dying first. Roll two stats for this character. They've both been fours. Uh, you know, the nice thing about Team Girl Squad is all of them dying would be completely in character. Not wrong. I hope people know what we're referencing. It doesn't sound like it supports the murder of teenagers. <laughs> Marty says, I hope that's the one that survives. And you know what? Isn't that the better story? <laughs> when you think about it. The one with the two fours. But no, yeah, Teen Girl Squad. Yeah, I just Strong forgot band. the number I just rolled. Hopefully. I got a 16. This person's intelligence. Yeah, I got a character with two 16s. Nice. Oh, I don't know how to explain Spellburn. And just someone who is strong but dumb as a rock. That's my favorite so you, kind. <laughs> you have your pre-built jock character. Yep. Now I no, hope I'm they're a, like I'm actually like friend. a juvenile del or they're like um I don't know, something that's not jockey, like a magician or something. I've got I've got these these two. Nice. I don't know who the other two are gonna be, but I'm I'm making a band. Like a garage <laughs> band? <laughs> no, just it's like just a band, you know? Who cares? Yeah, we like to vibe, we like to play our instruments. We can make real rock music, okay? Like Bon Jovi, Van Halen. Is Van Halen was Van Halen a thing by now? Yeah, yeah. The 80s, yeah. Van Halen's the 80s. Oh, I meant to look up. I need to make sure one of Actually, my references is sound. Rolling insanely well, like just absurdly good. Kind of not. Okay, well, it didn't last forever. I got a seven. And then when uh, you're done with all of your stats, let me know. Uh, I am done with all my stats. Okay. I don't know how the... Um... Keep getting one off of, like, a really good stat. <laughs> oh, no. Okay, keep rolling odd numbers. <laughs> Uh, let me see. That might be okay. The, the 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 numbers the number chain is a little different than five e, so you might still be okay. Brittany G only has like a five in strength and an eight in agility, so I don't think she's too long for this world. <laughs> <laughs> Brittany G. <laughs> well, Godspeed, Brittany G. <laughs> You're no Britney Prime. <laughs> Cece and I were talking about this beforehand, and and her idea was uh, 
just progressively shittier cloned wizards. So the, <laughs> the worse stats they are, it's just the worse the clone is. And I think that's a very funny a clone idea. Clone of a clone of a clone of yeah, a clone. Yeah, it's, it's the multiplicity problem. Yeah, if we ever do like a, a classic Dungeon Crawl classic or one that where wizard clones would be appropriate mm-hmm. for, that's it was... totally going to be what I'm going to do. I think the second gamers movie where there was one person who just like had a bunch of bards and the DM hated bards. So he kept killing it. And at one point the player just pulls out a stack of paper and hefts it onto the table. And it's just character sheets. And the wizard is standing up trying to cast a spell. And every time the bard jumps in front of it, immediately dies, giving him cover. And it's just new character sheet. That one's dead. New character sheet. That one's dead. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> Just bards falling out of trees. A lot of jumping in from off camera. So my last character that I just finished rolling has really shit stats. So like 10, 11, 5, 9, 10, and then 17 luck. So that's They're going to be probably... one lucky son of a bitch. <laughs> yeah, that's probably going to be the one that survives. That's the perfect <laughs> character for this, I think, though. That's that's kind of how Ash was. Like <laughs> mm-hmm. Ash didn't yeah. have like great stats, but had tons of luck. So had just... tons of luck and like two competent people who were like oh no this boy has to survive <laughs> I can't live it's with myself crap. if he dies <laughs> <laughs> he's a sweet sweet boy <laughs> this boy's blood cannot be on my hands <laughs> okay everybody ready or not yet Give me one uh, set. No problem. I have my stats, but I don't, I don't know what that. the mod is. Yeah, I'll, I'll go through the mods in a second. I wonder if it's just easier to copy and paste than that. My fourth character. That's her name. Hmm? <laughs> fourth character is that her name yeah oh, no, oh did you post it in chat sorry yeah i posted it in chat okay oh we we got is it the elven spelling <laughs> question is a guitar a viable weapon yes this? yes Good. i would treat it as a club wonderful not as an axe oh that's fair that was my mistake <laughs> I will take. Uh, Come on, Andy. Um, Head I'll in the game. Take some negative luck points. <laughs> okay. It's a very good name, Liz. Thank so. you. <laughs> <laughs> and oddly enough, she's the one with infinite. the worst stats. <laughs> well, good. she may not be infinite for long. <laughs> um, okay. So. Um, anyone have an 18 in anything? 17. 17? Yeah, okay. 17. Uh, 17 is plus 2. Okay. So 16 and 17 are plus 2. Okay. Actually have two plus 2s on one character. Ooh, Marie, hi, you are going to be my, my, uh, my rogue, I guess. Okay, so 16 and 17 are plus 2. 13 through 15 are plus 1. I'll put this in chat for... Thirteen through... Oh my god, Marie. You are a beast. Uh... 9 through 12 is plus 0. Uh, 
got a whole lot of zeros. That, that is uh -huh. that is to be expected. That's right, right average right there. And does luck get a modifier? Luck does get a modifier. Yes. Okay. I, I, because you can make luck checks and it, 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 it does affect things. And the character with all zeros. Um, mm -hmm. They're a perfectly average Norm. person. His name is going to be Norm, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, uh, six through eight is minus one. And then four and five is minus two. And I hope no one got a three. Surprisingly, no. Although this character does have two minus twos and four zeros. <laughs> so and so, the future ain't looking so bright. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, what, is, what are their minus twos in? Strength and agility. Okay. At least oh. it's not stamina. <laughs> Because that's going to determine hit points in a second. Uh, poor Brittany Infinity has three negative ones. Ooh. Yeah, oh, I Brittany. have a character with oh, two honey. plus twos and two plus ones. <laughs> that's that's my best character. That is my Carrie. Oh, her name's going to be Carrie. No way. Bad vibes. 80s Carrie. No, oh. no, no, no. No, no. Do it. Do it. Don't pick on Carrie. <laughs> one pick we all know carry. how that ends. Um, oh, you know what? Her first name can be Marie. Her last name can be Carrie. There you go. Okay. We just mysteriously have this bucket of pig's blood to avoid a TPK. Don't worry about it. <laughs> it's not a carry. TPK if one of us becomes the villain. Um... Okay. Uh, with that in mind, uh, your hit points are a whopping 1d4 plus or minus stamina. Minimum one. Oh. I think there's that minimum one. <laughs> <laughs> Hey. Our only's in order. Okay, Norm. Good luck. Good luck. Okay, I mean, good luck. All right. Well, I have my tank. Uh, all the Britneys. <laughs> oh, see, I knew it. All, all the Britneys. Go ahead. All the Britney's got four, except Britney Infinite, <laughs> who got one. <laughs> she is going to be your character who survives. Like, I just, I, I already know. Oh, Either that or out in the first five minutes. <laughs> yeah, it's just trip, fall, dead. <laughs> Arrowed. Um, okay. Uh, uh, your armor class is 10 plus or minus agility. Some nice agility. Where's my D five? Where's my D five? Trying to make all these instruments visible on the drawings I made. Now, for the for your occupation, aka mm -hmm. what your role in the 
a cheesy 80 movie, 80s movie would be. Uh, you have to roll a d50, which I know everyone has. Uh, if you don't feel like doing any of that, I'll just roll it for you, and that's fine. But uh, uh, d100 halved, rolling up, or a d6 and a d10, re-rolling the 6. Uh, the d6 being your 10s digit and the d10 being your 1s digit. That's for the roll. Yeah, so you need to roll that four times, and that'll be your occupation for each of your... We uh, figured out... Sorry, mm -hmm. continue. I just, we figured out AC, and we figured out, um... And we figured out HP. I'm just wondering if there's anything else we need to do. Nope, nope. This will be the last thing. Do you want uh, us to tell you the numbers, and then you'll... Yes, please. Tell us the occupation? Yes, okay. please. Do you want us to go in any particular order? Uh, no, whenever you're ready. Uh, so I rolled a D100. Mm -hmm. What's the triple zeros mean? That means 100. Oh. So, so I rolled, so you 50. rolled a 50. Yes. Yeah, okay. that's for Brittany G. Okay. So Brittany G is a role model. Uh, and her equipment is an excellent report card and a letterman jacket. Sweet. I just realized that, okay, no, the, the D6 thing doesn't work because there's an any, like, you can't hit the number 50. Um, I'll just find a D50 online somewhere. You, you can hit 50. Mm-hmm. Well, no, you can hit 50, but, like, then the ones digit is, like, useless. Oh, oh, you, yeah, you would just have to re-roll a 51. Okay, I see what you mean. You just have to, yeah, you can find it online. Or okay. D150 and a half. I'm just going to redo it. Okay. Okay, I got four yeah, numbers. I think I figured it out. Okay, uh, uh, four numbers. Or, uh, Liz, do you want to do your other three? Uh, Sure. So we roll up, right? So I got an eighty-nine. That would be a ninety. Or no? So you so you have it rounding up. So uh, you said an eighty-nine. Yeah. Oh yes, yes. You're smart. You did it right. Yes. So ninety, and then you divide that in half. So that's forty-five. Okay. So you're a dog walker. Uh, you have a dog whistle, which gives you plus two in your attempts to calm dogs, and small baggies. Really you know how to handle your business. Okay. Uh, Need B. Okay. Uh, rolled an 86. Six. So, wow, you're in the 40s. Uh, I know. Uh, this Brittany is a burnout. Uh, oh she boy. has a failed algebra <laughs> test and a small bag of magic mushrooms. Oh, oh no. shit. <laughs> <laughs> Brittany's my favorite Brittany. <laughs> I like that she's carrying her failed algebra test with her. Yeah. She's like proud. Of, she's one of those people who does bad at school and is proud of it. Which is like, weird because. Is, is she smart? Yeah, she's the Brittany with the highest intelligence. Yeah, no. <laughs> She's just not trying. She She's purposeful. Yeah, she... It's hard to get all those questions wrong on purpose. You have to know the right answer. I know. She manages to fail. She gets zero on every multiple choice test. It's, it's insane. Probably, it's probably that thing of like, she's too smart for the classes that she's in. So she's really bored. Mm, she needs a gifted program. Um, and your last one. Roll the 10 and a zero. That's a 10. Yes, a 10. Uh, so, Brittany Infinity <laughs> is a mysterious loner. She has black wayfarer sunglasses and a switchblade. <laughs> Hell yeah! <laughs> I got a minus two agility and I'll use it. <laughs> so, um, it's, it's round down for a D100, right? Sorry, my, no, wait, it's round up. I'm yeah, round, round, we're having you round up. Just because that's easier okay. for the chart. Okay. 25 divided by 2, that's... 
would become 13. Okay, I'm ready. Okay. Uh, this is hard. Uh, Jay? Uh, 47. 47. You're a golf caddy. <laughs> so you have plaid pants and a nine iron, which is a club. Is it? <laughs> it's about to be. Yeah. 25. 25 is a computer nerd. Uh, seven floppy disks and a backup pair of glasses. Oh, I, just I think we case. found our Velma. <laughs> Jinkies. These are going to be 3.5 inch hard floppies, by the way. It just says floppy disks, so, so I'll let you decide. It's 1980 something. So... Oh yeah, they're definitely 3.5 inch hard floppies. Yeah. You can throw them like ninja stars. Yep, 50. 50 is a role model. So excellent report card and letterman jacket. That's very fitting. That ended up on so and so. <laughs> Classic so and so. So and so. And a 16. 16 is the class clown with a whoopee cushion and one of those buzzer ring things. I feel like three out of four of those were spot on. The only one that doesn't make sense is cheerleader ended up as the computer nerd. Maybe she's a secret computer nerd. I wouldn't yeah, be like she's a secret brain freak fan. Uh, I am ready. Prepared. The backup pair of glasses. She needs yeah. glasses and refuses to wear them. Mm. Uh, I'm ready when you are, Andy. Uh, and what are your numbers, Dan? 46. 46. It's a smart mouth. Okay, well, that was on Norm, which is perfect. Uh, you get a witty comeback, which gives you plus one personality, and a polo really, shirt. Really, just a flat plus one. Flat plus one. That's so a plus one to your to your uh, to your number. So if that would bump That's... you up out, it does of... bump me up. Okay. Norm is now slightly charismatic. Oh, Norm! You and your slight charisma. He's <laughs> just like. A little above average at using sarcasm. Uh, so smart. Do I get anything else or just the witty comeback? Uh, and a polo shirt. I literally already drew him wearing a polo shirt. Uh, your next number? Uh, 33. 33. You're a lifeguard. You have a whistle and a swimsuit. It's October, by the way. <laughs> So, yeah, but you know what? I actually 16 agility, 13, uh, 13 stamina on this one. So uh, and 22. A, a karate expert. Perfect. Yellow belt. Good. That's not an expert, but um, yeah, but for a teenager. The 1980s, yeah. Oh, this is this is and I, I gave that to the guy named Crush, so uh, that's, that works out well. And you have a uh, static plus one to hit, and a karate gi. Oh my god, this guy is a villain from the Karate Kid. I just realized. <sighs> All right, and last one. What's your last number? Uh, sorry, 13. 13. Oh, dear. <laughs> you're, you're a small-time drug dealer. <laughs> okay, well, that's perfect because... This is, a this is the character I drew for 13. There you go. <laughs> uh, hold on, I have to Google what this means. What is this? It's going to be excellent, I can tell. Uh, okay. um, tell, me, tell me what the word is. Shake? It's it's a slang for marijuana I've never heard before. Uh, so you have a medium-sized bag of marijuana, 
and a pocket-sized ledger book. Okay. Uh, and uh, CC. Uh, first one was a forty. Forty. Wow, we are not getting any doubles. This is, or very few doubles. This is great. Uh, Forty is an aerobics enthusiast. You have a thigh master and a unitard. This game is great. <laughs> does the unitard come with leg warmers? I'm going to assume it does. Um, and that it's bright pink with, uh, like, teal leggings. It was a unitard and what else? Uh, a thigh master. Oh, okay. <laughs> which it does not say is a weapon, but you could totally use that as a weapon. That would hurt. Yeah. <laughs> okay. And then the next one was a 22. 22. That is a karate expert. So there are two karate experts. Uh, a plus one to hit and a karate gi. Oh, man. Let's say they go to karate classes together. Uh, the next one was a uh, mathing, mathing, uh, 23. You're a break dancer. <laughs> <laughs> you have the greatest game. You have a portable stereo and a bucket hat. Yes. Well. <laughs> There always seems to be a piece of cardboard on the floor nearby mm -hmm. whenever you need it. It's bizarre. <laughs> um, and then the last one is 52, a 17. You're a magician. Greatest game I've ever played. <laughs> it's the one with all the luck and no other stats. <laughs> Hell yeah! <laughs> yes! <laughs> You have a bag of magic tricks and a bow tie. <laughs> Great. <laughs> Normal bow tie or a spinning bow tie? I'm going to let Cece decide. A uh, spinning, of course. <laughs> okay. Um, some other highlights from the list that we did not get to. Uh, you can be a role-playing gamer where you get a D <laughs> DM's guide oh, and a bag of dice. Too meta. Too meta. Too meta. Um... Uh, there's a Jesus freak who has a pocket Bible and a porno magazine that fits inside the pocket Bible. There you go. That kind of freak. Uh, I mean, the thing about Jesus is he was home from like here to here. Yeah. So, um, and a future farmer where you get a straight up pitchfork. So, Aww. <laughs> um, okay. Uh, in addition, uh, you all get a bunch of bunch of stuff that you can split as a group. Uh, it's Halloween, so everyone can decide if their character would be wearing a Halloween costume. Ooh. Um, you're all late teens, early 20s, depending on how you want to flavor it. You may or may not still do Halloween costumes, but it is Halloween. Well, definitely Crotch is doing Halloween uh britney's g a and well g and a are definitely in costume b like got one of those because she's all burnt out so she's like has one of those cheapy cheapy uh you know she's got like the plain mask of like captain america or something and that that's her costume and mm -hmm. britney infinite is uh like she's says she's in costume but it's what she normally wears <laughs> but no one wants to ask her what what do you think your dress says <laughs> I mean my magician for sure is dressed up as a magician. Sure. You already have the costume. Okay. Um, 
there's some other stuff you all have. It's uh, not super important. So, and we're gonna skip the other part because this has already taken a bit longer uh, than I thought, but I don't know why I thought it wouldn't be. <laughs> um, uh, I was like, we can do character creation for 16 characters in 10 minutes. Why did I think that? Anyway, um, I'm not smart. <laughs> Uh, okay, so let me get to the beginning. Uh, uh, My band. Nice. Um, uh, uh, you are a group of friends, misfits, from the small town of Crater Valley. This could be anywhere, this could be nowhere. For the last 17 years, you have chafed, chafed against the shackles of this backwater hellhole and you can't wait to get out. Some of, you, some of you will go off to college, others will get jobs in the local mill, or move to the big city in search of a more interesting life. This is your last Halloween in town, and you plan to make it a memorable one. Uh, everybody in town has already made up their minds about you, so why not live it up for one of your last nights of chaos before you grow up? Uh, you are a lawyer. So Hmm? And so it works. Yeah. The moment you turn 20, you're additionally, you're just instantly an adult. You're yo. basically dead, man. Um, uh, you are loitering in the Crater Valley Town Square, watching the last of the trick-or-treaters making their way home. The smells of Halloween linger in the air, burning leaves, guttering candles and jack-o'-lanterns, and the sulfurous miasma of spent firecrackers. You await the arrival of your friend, Julie before you plan to set off in pursuit of some mischief. Uh, Julie is the glue that binds the, your crew of misfits together. The likable sweetheart that somehow manages to get along with everybody, regardless of their status in the high school pecking order. It's unlike her to be so late, as she lives just a block away from the square, but you know her father, a world-renowned archaeologist, has just made a major discovery, and you assume she must be celebrating with him. You and your friends are considering leaving without her, when the sound of breaking glass coming from the direction of Julie's house fills the air, followed almost immediately by the unmistakable sound of Julie screaming. Help me! Someone please help! Whoa! We gotta do something about that! <laughs> Says Bruno. Yeah, like, totally. We should. Yeah. Um, Bruno, by the way, has like, when did Jason come out? Uh, uh, whatever. Yeah. He has the, he has the, the 80s. okay, came out in 1980. He's dressed as Jason for Friday the 13th. Uh, so he puts, he pulls down his like goalie mask and he has like a guitar slung over his back and he's just. And the rest of his like little band just kind of shrug and follow him. Okay. Uh, what would everyone else like to do? Uh, um, I think at least two of the Britneys would go. Brittany, uh, G and A would totally go. Okay. Go oh, Britneys. Uh. Yeah, I feel like all of my characters would follow. Okay. Just want everybody to know that I used an Angel Fire site to generate uh, randomly all of my characters' names. <laughs> did you <laughs> did you search out an Angel, the oldest website you could find? Why? <laughs> no, it was the first. So I I typed in like '80s like name generator, and it was the yeah, first result. And I was like, well, I have to. It's because it's from the '80s. Yeah. You know, the, you know, <laughs> <laughs> it felt appropriate. Yep, 80s name generator. The first hits an Angel Fire site. <laughs> Bless you, Angel Fire, for still hosting that magnificent website. How are you still around? I thought they it, closed, but baby not. It had, it had bright blue background and red letters, okay. so, you know. Oh, both. yeah, this God. is Web 1.0 as fuck. <laughs> is there something Great. spinning at the top of the page, I hope? Or no, surprisingly not. No. That is surprising. <laughs> there, 
is a hit counter down near the bottom, oh, though. I think that's standard, right? <laughs> yeah, you know, hits. That's what, and they still call them hits, obviously. Um, oh, and you have two genders, Sting and Madonna. <laughs> <laughs> the two genders, uh-huh. Anyway, um, cheerleader would go and the rest would follow through obligation. Okay. The cheerleader. Okay. As you're going, as you're walking, um, no, that's not gonna work. Um, as you're walking, let's see, boom, boom, boom. Um, uh, suddenly everything is quiet as all of the lights in town simultaneously go out. A moment of absolute silence and stillness ticks by when the air is filled with the cacophonous roar of what sounds like every dog in town howling in unison. Sure, that's fine. I do think I'm going to have a panic attack. And then Norman says, oh, you will. you're always about to have a panic attack. And then everyone gives Norman the side eye because that's the kind of person he is. Um, Hope Norman dies first. Uh, so as um, as you're all walking, all the so there's a blackout in Crater Valley. I said the name of the episode. The, mm -hmm. the titular blackout. Roll credits. I get inspiration, which isn't a thing in this game. Um, um, okay. So as you as you're doing, uh, as you're doing, as you're walking, three wild-eyed dogs come bursting onto the street, barking maniacally. Up. Oh. Kind of oh. towards the your your motley crew. The dog. Oh. Brittany A has a dog whistle. Mm hmm So she would like to calm the dogs, being an expert dog walker. Okay. Uh, give me a... Uh, so roll a d20. You mm -hmm. get to add plus two from your dog whistle, and you can add your personality score if you have it. <laughs> no. No? Okay. <laughs> Minus one. Minus one? Okay. Ten plus two. Minus one. It was 11. <laughs> 11? Okay. Uh, the dogs seem confused. Um, but they don't really calm down. They just seem confused by the whistle. It certainly gets them to stop for a second. But they don't seem to heal or anything. They just start looking around a little confused. Um, Jen Wild, my breakdancer, is going to pull out her portable stereo. Okay. And drop some uh sick beats to try and calm these dogs i don't know if there's an aid another action but bruno will start strumming his guitar okay uh are you are you playing a cassette or are you trying to use the radio uh, like the uh, like a radio station uh playing a cassette okay perfect well this song okay yeah so give me a um a, roll a d20 Uh, a six. <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> that seems to agitate them. <laughs> oh, I think your I think your boombox is busted. My my beats are just too fresh. Uh, the dogs are menacing closer and closer. What would you like to do? I guess Brittany A would just keep trying to assert dominance and try to get these dogs to leave. <laughs> uh, okay. Um, Stevie, my magician, is gonna try and pull like a like a cartoonish like thing of like ham or bone or something out of a hat. Okay, if it looks like a treat, you can make another d20 check with personality sure. plus two. Okay. Uh, let's see. Uh, 16? A 16 
fools them, and the the dogs go chase after your treat. <laughs> awesome. Which is good because one was about to lunge at Brittany A. Oh no. Orange <laughs> TV. Okay. Uh, so uh, you all head over to Julie's house. Um, let's see. You pile into Julie's front yard to find the house completely dark, like everything else in town. The power appears to be out. Her house is a relatively large, but more or less average-looking suburban home. Directly in front of you, you can see the front door of her house, uh, with a large glass window looking into her living room off to the right. A two-car garage is adjacent to the house on the left, and paving stones lead through the garden to the rear of the house. Yo, what up? Some screaming. <laughs> there is no response. Okay. I was going to say, does it look like home. anybody's home, but the lights are all off? The lights are all off. Uh, is there like a doorbell or a knocker? <laughs> yes. <laughs> now, we could just call the police and shut up, Norman. God, How would we call the police? The power's out. Right, I forgot. We're in the 1980s. <laughs> it's, it's the 80s. One of you <laughs> maybe, a... maybe has a car phone. Maybe. Norm, Norm like, pulls no. out this, like, giant, like, like, the size of his forearm. And it doesn't, and it, he just, like, uh, no signal. Yeah, all the cell towers are powered down, probably. The one 50 miles away in Ruby Hollow. Mm. <laughs> Um, I guess uh, bet my aerobic enthusiast will go up and uh, try the knocker. Yeah, you can knock. Um, no one answers. Are we just going to break into this person's house? <laughs> you, heard him sc you heard her scream. I mean. Yeah. So that's true. I think two of my Britneys are still back at the 7-Eleven getting high so <laughs> <laughs> See, I'm gonna say is also with the Britney where did everybody go <laughs> maybe like, do you we want or not catch up some you guys have three stops check the back of the house sure yeah yes okay so you head to the back of the house uh the, just, there's a uh, sliding glass patio door um but as you're back there, you notice, as you're walking, um, glass crunches beneath your feet. And if you kind of step back and look up, it looks like the window to Julie's room is broken. Yeah. And there's, um, let's see. They notice a dark streaking liquid on some of the remaining glass. Uh, and in addition, there's a trellis next to you all that leads a upstairs a trellis it's like what ivy grows on it's if you've ever seen an 80s movie or tv show it's what the person who's not supposed to be on the second floor is climbing up i was just about to ask because the trellis looks stable enough to climb uh yeah you probably could i mean if you mess up it'll probably break but you could climb it is it actually stable enough no probably not will teenagers climb on it yes yes no, they are they are always made. They look like they're made of plywood. I don't know how anyone could climb up of, uh, up them, but they did in every Carefully. TV show or movie. Clarissa <laughs> explains it all, and no, nope, right. he used the ladder. Oh, he did have a ladder. That's right. That was actually his intro every time, as you'd hear the ladder clunk into place. <laughs> Any of you bring a ladder? Uh, I mean, one of my characters is really tall. Can I make one out of flop kit? Um, maybe a ladder for ants. 
Okay. Uh, well, there's no back door, though, right? There is a there's a back door as well. It's Can a you just um, go through the door. It's locked. And we have a lock pick. I have a nine iron. You can smash. It's a big glass door. Uh, none of you got the. There is a character who has a lock pick, but none of uh, none of you got a uh, juvenile delinquent who has a lock pick and bag of oregano. Don't worry, guys. I'll take care of this. I, I learned this in karate class. Yeah, and then he's gonna try to kick down. <laughs> okay, give me a strength check. Okay. You're gonna try is that to, to hit down or? The glass? Well, he's, like, he's going to aim at the hinge, not the glass. Oh, okay. Don't want glass, shards of glass everywhere. It's unsafe. Uh, that is a... Is that a hit or just, like, strength? Yeah, just strength. Okay, that's 13. 13 is enough to break the door. That's a big lock. Points at the lock and says, That one! I picked the lock. Good job. Um, okay, so my magician will say, "Pick a lock, any lock." <laughs> oh, see, you, I would have, I would have probably let the magician try and pick the lock, but, uh, but the door's open, so it doesn't matter. Uh, let's see. Uh, once inside, the party finds the house completely silent, but can hear what sounds like wind blowing through an open window upstairs. Uh, and as you. Uh, enter the back door, you can see a medium-sized wooden crate sits open on the living room table. What's in the box? Um, so looking at the box, the crate has been opened and some of the packing sawdust inside has spilled onto the table. But aside from the packing material inside, the crate is empty. A pool of blood, still warm and wet, leads from this to the stairs. Uh, and the box itself says, Property of the Crater Valley Museum. Yeah. How, like, big is the box? Isn't it, like, person-sized? Is it, like, animal-sized? No, it's, between like... Between a bat and a hawk size. It's between a bat and a honk. <laughs> um, it's... It's slab size. Do we have something to return? <laughs> it's it's foot eighteen inches by eighteen inches. Oh, okay. I'd be dead size if it hurt Jennifer. Her name was Jennifer, right? Julie. <laughs> Whatever. You get points for trying. In and out. I'm, I'm in and out. I'm so <laughs> mad at this door. <laughs> Got to smash some more stuff. I'm uh, the aggressive one, if you haven't noticed. Uh, what would you all like to do? I guess we'll follow the pool of blood upstairs. <laughs> okay. Guys, I think oh. we should really just head out. This is not something we should... Shut up, Norm. God Walk it, to Norm. the police station. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, none you of your bikes are skateboards. <laughs> God, is it just square norm? Um, okay. So if you follow the trail of blood. One uh, of the girls is just like, I'm kind of with Norm on this one. <laughs> this, there's, there's a lot of blood. We broke into this house. Hey, I don't so think we're the good guys. Norm so much, why don't you marry him? Um... Uh, upstairs, the party finds a trail of blood that leads them to a badly mutilated corpse of Julie's mom. They did Norm such a leaves. Bad job mutilating this it's, corpse. It's... Norm leaves. <laughs> Norm, Norm leaves. Yeah, Norm's out front. Bye. Norm's yeah. out. Um, Norm's gone. Uh, so yeah, depending on what you think the budget of this movie is, uh, it it's either surprisingly good or really terrible looking. It's like. Oh, they got like Rick Baker or somebody to do these special effects. This looks great or something. But um, uh, really no, cherry red blood. Yo, oh yeah, it's like strawberry syrup, uh, and way I'm too much of it. Blood. <laughs> um. Uh, so you can find her mom. Her mom had previously had dark hair, but it has turned bone white, 
and there's a look of horror on her face. Yo. What's going on? <laughs> she doesn't respond. Person's dead. It's fucked. Uh, <laughs> um, at least two of my characters will shriek and then uh, that will uh, faint okay Marie is hyperventilating Bruno for whatever reason does not seem phased at all it's like well it's metal one of the girls is going to run to the kitchen and pick up the phone to find it doesn't work, I bet. It does not work. Lots of screaming. Okay. Uh, looking you around... I'm running down the street. <laughs> Farm's just like, I'm going home. No, I'm surviving this encounter. <laughs> Norm doesn't want any part of this. I'm a sensible young man. <laughs> Yeah, he's got average stats for everything except personality. And his personality is telling him to get the fuck out of yeah. there. Fuck no. Um, so looking up, uh, in addition to... Uh, oh, gross. Her heart appears to have been torn out of her chest. Oh. Um, it's disgusting. Uh, let's see. There are, in addition to finding her, there are still bloody footprints that stain the shag carpet leading into the middle of the three rooms. Sure, this house has lovely interior wood paneling that has been stained with a few red blood stains. Just a few. A couple handprints. Mm hmm. Did the footprints look like the mom's, or like, do they look human? Do they. They look human, yeah. Okay. I roll to see if Norm can find the police station. <laughs> sure. Uh, I don't know if uh, I don't know what I roll for that. Uh, you've lived here your whole life. You can just find the police station. Okay, Norm finds the police station and is going to try and. There's been a murder. They're trying to body. There's the map. Okay, so yeah, you... Wait, are there... Is this like an 80s movie where all the cops are just absent or incompetent? Uh, it's yeah, the pretty much. And yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what the hell did I do? There we go. Sorry, I I minimized my PDF to be one percent, so they just became pixels on my screen. Yeah, the holding cell is just full with like I just threw an egg at a house. It's Halloween. Um. So yeah. Uh huh. There's been a murder on <laughs> Halloween. Sure, kid. Damn it, Jay. <laughs> That's exactly what I was about to do. That you just heard that. Uh huh. No, I, there's like a real murder. Sure there is. Kind of kind of takes a sniff. You been smoking that oregano? No. Have you I been around people cook. who have? It's a part-time job. I'm a line cook at an Italian restaurant. It's always smell like actual oregano. Uh let's see, cops. The there is they are unhelpful. Okay, I'm assuming no role I make would actually... No, they, they do not believe you. All right, well, Norm's tried everything, guys. Uh, well, at least he didn't show up covered in blood, because then they would have shot you. But... What? I'm sorry, they would have tried to bring you downtown. They might escalate to where they shoot you. Um... Because you're the one covered in blood. Look, no one ever said they were smart. They're in an Is 80s movie. They're supposed to be comically movie. incompetent. Quick, you're covered in blood. I'm going to shoot you. Damn, now he's even more covered in blood. Shoot him more. Um, That'll make the blood go away. <laughs> 
Um, All this blood is sending me into a rage. <laughs> I have to shoot. <laughs> um, okay. So uh, back at the house, <laughs> what would you all like to do? I think... Brittany B and Brittany Infinite will have finished getting high and be like, where'd all our friends go? Okay. And then would have had to Julie's house. Yeah. <laughs> okay, perfect. And Tracy, well, who is her a... dealer, just has her hands perpetually in the front pocket of her hoodie as she uh, as she's with them. It's yeah. gonna be a real buzzkill when they see that dead body. <laughs> oh, man. What's her face keeps trying to go like, nope, this is bad, I'm going home. Cheerleader keeps stopping her. Um, you see Norm run by the house again <laughs> cops weren't helpful it's an 80s movie they never are right. um, okay so folks in the house what, what would you like to do uh, who and is going to follow footprints because you... he's a dumbass oh, sorry <laughs> follow the foot footprints uh, one of the teen girl squad is panicking uh, okay, so the footprints lead to uh, Julie's dad's office, Dr. Von Hoynecker, uh, which is uh, filled with books, historical artifacts, antiquities, piles of paper, and scholarly researches, or scholarly journals, and oh look, another corpse. <laughs> Wouldn't you know? Uh, a body is sprawled out on the desk as the party approach they recognize the face of Julie's father, Dr. Von Hoynecker. Uh, do they pause in grim alarm when they realize his face, his head is facing the wrong way? Oh. Uh, oh and no. much like his wife, his hair has been turned white. I always um, felt like he had eyes in the back of his head, but this is ridiculous. You hear so, Tracy uh, take out drumsticks and just... Um... And he's... Uh, Go ahead. Uh, I was going to say, Bet, who had previously fainted, had uh, Cindy Q, my karate master, uh, had fanned her and helped her up. And then they wander in and see the dead dad, and then she faints again. Okay. <laughs> um, perfect. Um, it's going like, choke the body with his guitar. Uh, sorry, say that again? Bruno's going to poke the body with his guitar. Okay, yeah. So he kind of, he, he moves a little bit, and he seems to be clutching something very tightly to his chest. Is it his own heart? No, no it looks like it might be a <laughs> notebook. Oh. I'm going to gently remove the notebook. Okay. Uh, uh, it's actually, it's, he's touching it, he's clutching it so tightly that you have to um, you really have to pry a lot harder than you, you thought you would, but you can get it free. Um, and, uh, you can see, yeah, it looks, it's a large leather bound notebook, uh, caked in his blood. I just imagine the opening scene from Young Frankenstein. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, clue, guys. So, so yeah, if you if you if you open it, uh, let's see. Uh, his journal contains. So there's a Just bunch like Raiders of the Lost oh, Ark. Uh, Bruno's face starts melting. <laughs> yes. Uh, 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 the notebook makes constant references to a mask. Quote. And includes a detail, detailed drawings of it. The mask appears to be made of some kind of reflective metal. In addition to two normal eye holes, an apparent third eye hole is visible on the forehead. And the mouth of the mask is twisted in a half-smile, half-frown expression. Strange sig sigils uh, uh, elsewhere doodled throughout the journal can be seen on the edges of the mask. Uh, the doctor explains that he needs to compare the symbols on the mask to those on the shroud, the amulet, the cross, and McDade's bat. 
uh, the party is taken aback. Some of these items sound familiar. Uh, the shroud must surely be the infamous garment worn by... Uh, let me get this guy's first name. Alphonse Novak, who is the town founder. Uh, on the, uh, at his suicide, which is one of the few items of interest located at the town museum. Likewise, McDade's bat can only be the baseball bat once owned by turn-of-the-century baseball, baseball star Duke McDade, which uh, the party has seen on display in the high school cafeteria of... Uh, as McDade is literally the only famous person to ever hail from Crater Valley. Um, the mask comes up over and over again in the journal, and it seems to be the last piece of a puzzle the doctor was working on. Uh, Dr. Von Hoynecker's last entry in the book states that he has brought the mask home, and he will be able to provide more detail once he has been able to assess it in person. Finally, he states that Gideon at the museum was a fool to believe that the mask was only folklore and that he can't wait to surprise him by wearing it to work on Monday. And then at the end, does it say, somebody stop me? <laughs> no, because that was 1994. I literally just looked it up. I, I, <laughs> Dang it! Google it. <laughs> when are the comics from? That's a real good point. Whoa. We got, like, mystery and shit. 1987. Hmm. It's his first comic book appearance. Hey. Where's the mask? Yeah, you didn't see the mask. There, there was we a box to... downstairs, that, which is probably what it was in, but... We can go to the museum? We get to go to the museum? Only way that she would get more excited is if we got to go to the library. All right, should we split up? That seems like a great idea. Cover more ground faster, you know? There are a lot of us. Yeah, there are a lot of you. So there are, what, four places we can go, or...? So the the... The book mentions things to look out for are the mask, the things of note, the mask, which seems to have been here, but is no longer the shroud, which is at the museum and, and the bat, amulet, which is at the school. Yeah. Okay. An amulet, which uh, you're not sure what that might be. A cross, which uh, is none of you are the Jesus freak, but but still, you've all, it's a small enough town. There's only one church. Um, uh, so even if you're not religious, you would have been there for something. A, you know, a mixer, a wedding, a funeral. Uh, there's a really crappy cross there. It's kind of infamous in town because it's not built very well. Like, it's, it's like, built like that, basically. But it's, like, really ornate looking. So it's, like, clearly, so the joke is, like, some local craftsmen couldn't even make the cross right but it's like super fancy looking other than that like it's clearly expensive it's just crap uh oh, so i've always that. wanted to steal that yeah. and then mcdade's bat which is yeah in the high school uh, who's gonna go where well we have Three places to go that we definitely know. Yeah, there's the church, there's the, 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 the with the cross, and then there's McDade's bat at school, and then there's the shroud of the, of the guy whose name I can't remember. Yeah. Uh, Alphonse Novak, who's you know, the town founder. So and so would proceed to tell him that, and then give him start just like giving him a little lesson about who he was, why he's important. Yeah, he was a uh, he was uh, 
a fairly successful uh, doctor. And uh, he founded the town in the crater because he was led here in a dream. Uh, you know, but then his his life ended in tragedy. He took his own life uh, in the middle of town kind of thing. And, and so there's a bunch of stuff related to that. He was a, uh, an odd guy. He was into some less than Christian things, let's say. Um, into the supernatural a little bit, but... Everyone Christian in 80s movies? Like, did they just not think about that? Was, oh, yes. It was everyone... Yes. Uh, Which isn't to yeah. say you all aren't. It's just that... Or, you know, you obviously... No, it's, it's, you it's, just you want, but, it's just funny as all. It's just funny as all. It's just... No, it's fine. It's just like, yeah, don't you remember all of this? We learned it in, like, ninth grade local history class. Yeah. No, I uh, slept through those classes. How do you sleep through classes? Uh, I close my eyes and I lean back in my chair. Anyways, okay. okay you and me, we're going to go to the shroud, okay? Because you seem to know your shit. Okay. 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 Well, we should probably all send, like, a character each to a place and maybe keep... Yeah, that's a good idea. Maybe keep, like, a character here. Norm is out. hyperventilating out front. Outside of the house? <laughs> oh, uh, I wanted Brittany B to stay back and sort of start researching uh, what the amulet and the mask might be. Okay, yeah, if you want to stick around in his house, uh, he's got plenty of books and notes, so you can totally do some research. Okay, so the shroud will be so-and-so, Bruno. Man, I gotta pull out a spreadsheet for this. We have the church, the museum, the high school, and staying at the house. Our four locations, I think. Yes. Okay, so Norm and Brittany B are going to be at the house. This Norm is terrified. Yeah, what's her face is probably like a, standing over him, just like, hey, you all right? You, do you have your inhaler? Did you bring a spare? Bring asthma. Why do I need an inhaler? Just because, like, you hyperventilate a lot, my dude. I just got two dead bodies. It's a completely normal response. But, like, even outside of this, yeah. you're always just kind of, like, gasping about something. What? <laughs> what? Uh, oh, man. You if two dead bodies scare you. <laughs> oh, I think you're mixing it up with Norman. <laughs> Sorry, I'm, I'm, I'm Norman G. Talking over you. Sorry, I didn't hear what you said. I'm gonna say, uh, if two dead bodies scare you, don't go out into the woods. There are tons of dead bodies in there. <laughs> what? <laughs> All right. Steps on a net and points at it. Look, a dead body! Oh. So the slasher puts themselves back in the mask box, and we all go home and happily. We all win! Hooray! Yay! Yay! We won. Right, we should work. Also. Do you want to work out the groups now? Because I don't know how much time we have left. Ah, uh, yeah. I figured out where my who's are going where. <laughs> where my who's are going? Where my who's are going where? Yep. <laughs> and how? Ah, well. I mean, how is their walking? Because... So it's the Shroud, House, Church, and is that it? Uh, church, school. Museum, High School, and Staying at the House. <laughs> okay, so there's five locations. Sure. Okay. What's the fifth one? Well, School, Church, Museum, Shroud. The, no, the shroud the, is the museum. The shroud is at the yeah. museum. Oh. Yes. Yeah, it's not a place. It's a thing. 
My bad. Okay. Marie will go to the school, and Trixie will go to the church. Because that's where she deals drugs. Yeah, that sounds like a church. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody knows where it is. Ah, good. It's in the Bible. I mean, you get, you're supposed to get stoned in the Bible. It's, it's in, like, every fucking chapter. God created weed, probably. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Nailed it. Obviously. <laughs> Marty is mad that we keep bringing him up. <laughs> um, hey, Marty. Uh, okay. So, uh, uh, some of you are going to stay here, and then the rest are going to go out into the world. So let's mm-hmm. let's cut to the high school, uh, Crater Valley High. Uh, you approach Crater Valley High through an almost entirely empty parking lot. Aside from a school bus parked near the building, uh, a single AMC pacer sits uh, rusting in the stall furthest from the school. Uh, Like the rest of the town, the power is out, and the menacing howls of the town's ravenous dogs feel more ominous here in the open space of the parking lot. Uh, The school before you is a large U-shaped building around an inner courtyard area, which is almost exactly like my high school. Uh, So I can picture this very well. Uh, Numerous doors and windows uh, can be seen around the school, but obviously no lights are on still. Don't suppose anybody brought a flashlight? Uh... No. No. I assume if the drug dealer or magician are with you, they would have a lighter, but... Uh, no, I decided to bring my uh, karate master. So. Yeah, yeah, to I the sent... school, I brought my role model. That I makes sent sense. my lifeguard. That makes sense. I have backup pair of glasses, which is just my normal pair of glasses I refuse <laughs> to wear. Yeah. Uh, so everything that you describe, I see about three fourths of it. Okay. <laughs> Marty says to light the swimsuit on fire. <laughs> my job. Or the report card. It could do never. That. I mean, no, I need that for my permanent records. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's right. Yeah, you, that's that's the only one you got. You don't get digital. <laughs> All right, let's just go. <laughs> Gotta get your mom to sign it. With. I want to go home. Um, Wait, who here can drive? I'm curious. Like, did we take a car here? Could yes, we walk? Take a car here? Yeah. I mean, I'm sure some of you can drive. Whether or not you have your parents' car for the weekend uh, or for the night would be up for debate. Canonically, what there's a. Like, hmm? Just gonna say, canonically, what's her face has had her license for a year. <laughs> yeah. Um. Uh. There is a there is a car in the parking lot, which if you got the keys to it, you could take. It's a crappy AMC Pacer. What's <laughs> worth, crappy car or no car? I'm. I, I, I picture Marie as, like, one of those, like, insanely responsible people. So she probably has her parents, like, four-door sedan. I mean, right now we just need to break into the school. Mm-hmm. All right, let's go to the school. And as a role model, do I know any, like... Because I'm probably a teacher's pet, too. So would I know any, like... uh, Would I know, like, which back door the teachers, like, pulled out the, uh... Uh... Like, the emergency exit where they pull it out so they can go have a smoke break? (laughs) Uh, so... So, yeah, so... You know that the door that they never lock, because they always prop it open for smoke breaks, is actually on the roof. They all smoke on the the roof of the, the school... 
uh, because then it's the principal's like, well, you can't smoke in front of the kids. It's a new policy. And all these very surly <laughs> teachers are like, but smoke is the only thing that gets me through the day. So they have to smoke on the roof now. Man, not allowed to smoke in class anymore. <laughs> How will the kids have their T-zones yeah, stimulated? You. Did you know that? That smoking is, like, bad for you, apparently? I just learned that. They're grown. How else will these 35-year-olds look 60? Um, so, uh, and you know there there is a ladder to get up onto the roof if you'd like to. Go on the roof. <laughs> Going on the roof. Um, okay. Uh, you know, or, or, isn't it's 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 actually not on there the ladder is so the ladder is on the school bus so you jump on top of the school bus and then you just can make a little jump onto the roof so it's not too hard uh what were you gonna say James? it's not a teenage movie unless we're going into a building through a roof at least once i don't make the rules that's just what the module says but i agree with jay um okay let's see uh um, so you, you, you open the utility hatch and you are let down into uh, the, the maintenance worker Gus's workshop, the janitor. Um, uh, and once, as soon as you get inside, you can hear the sound of breaking glass from further in the building and a man's voice cry out in pain. You me to play chess. Oh, good. I'm sure that's fine. Fine. Uh, Brittany G will sort of rush ahead and see what's up. Okay. Yeah, Cindy Q will follow. Uh, okay, perfect. So uh, they find. Um, okay, so indeed, you find the school janitor, Gus, standing uh, in a pile of smashed glass uh, as he has clearly smashed open the trophy case that once housed McDade's famous bat. Uh, let's see. And I mean, he's a full blown adult who's now holding a scary looking baseball bat. Um, and he kind of absent mindedly is muttering to himself. He says, all these years, it's been right here under my nose. I've seen these symbols a thousand times and never knew of their power. All the time I wasted cleaning up after this town spoiled brats. I could have been using this bat to rule them all. What kind of 80s janitor has Gus been up until now? The kind that's always oddly inspiring or the kind that's always creepy in the background? More than oddly inspiring. He's, he's pretty friendly. So this is a bit of a 180-degree character yes. turn, huh? Yes. Hey, guys, what's up? <laughs> I remember it's me from Chess Club. Uh, he kind of kind of looks up a little distracted and says, uh, Oh, hello, kids. Um, what are you doing here? Why are you, why are you saying things with the bat? Uh, he says, why? Are you going to take the bat from me? It's uh, mine. Uh, there's... Okay, um, this is in line with the spooky murders that's been going on. Uh... Yeah, somebody's been totally spooky murdering, so... <laughs> okay, roll initiative. What? Oh, good. You do that. Uh, so, it's a d20 plus or minus your agility. I should have brought Brittany A. Dang it. Oh my god. Uh, Marie got a 21. Okay. Jeez. Yeah, Marie is, by the way, this character whose stats are fucking insane. Okay. I rolled a three. Crazy. This is pen not work. Come on, pen. 
Dan got a 21. Jay got a 3. Uh, CC. Uh, lucky number 13. And Liz. Did one better and got a 14. Perfect. Rewrite this. To be fair, cheerleader can only see well enough to navigate. <laughs> Who is that? Who's the gray blob? <laughs> you really need to put your glasses on. No! Okay. Um, I'm sorry. I didn't mean it. They only made one kind of glasses in the 80s, and they're not flattering on anyone. That norm somehow. He seems to pull them off just like he was made to wear glasses. Uh, so I got a um, 21. Does that mean I go first? So you get to go first. Um, so uh, which character is this? This is Marie. Uh, and w which, which occupation was that? Lifeguard. Okay. Oh, right. Okay. Uh, so yeah, so uh, much like in D and D five e, you can move, you can attack, you you can improvise a weapon around here, and it'll do a D four. Uh, but otherwise, you attack, you roll D twenty plus your strength to hit. Is he like coming at her with the bat? Yeah. Oh yeah. No. He. You would. You would find his posture threatening. You. Um, you. You've. You've questioned the bat, and he's like, "I. You can't take this from me." Yeah, and I'd like to imagine Trixie's like, uh, sorry, that Marie is pretty close at this point. So she's just going to panic and stab him with her clarinet reed. Those hurt. Yeah, go ahead. So we're all at D20. Mm -mm. I got a three. Is that agility or strength? Strength. Three. Okay. Uh, yeah, you... Uh, he very easily grabs your hand and kind of pushes you away. Uh, it's his turn. So he will attack with the bat. Uh, that's an 18 to hit, so I'm going to guess that hits. Good morning. Come on, stop. Okay. Uh, so sweet. Uh, and he smashes your head in for 11 damage. Okay, well, Marie's dead. Yep. <laughs> Goodbye, Marie. Uh, it's unfortunate. Dead as fuck. So, uh, he pulls the bat out of Marie, and he kind of looks at uh, the remaining... Uh, three of you, and starts to, like, Terminator walk towards you. <laughs> uh, it is, uh, Liz, your turn. Um, okay. I need to deal with my report card and my letterman jacket. Uh. Throw the jacket at him to blind him. That's what I was thinking. Or I was gonna do, like... So can I, yeah, throw the jacket on him and then sort of try to sneak around him and then, like, kneel down so that someone can push him over next time? <laughs> Let's tabletop him. Yeah. I, yes, you can attempt to do that because I love this puerile ruse. He just smashed a woman's head in with a baseball bat and you're like, no, we'll, we can trip him. So yeah, make an agility check. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, at Marie's house, uh, Marie's mom being a little bit nosy. It's her university acceptance letter. She just got into the school of bright futures. Um, <laughs> she was only she two days from her. university retirement. <laughs> she was going to a big city, Indianapolis. The school of bright futures. Remind me, that's that's in canon for. Twilight Trails and Ruby Hollow. They all take place in the same <laughs> universe. Uh, yeah. Um, so that's a six. A six? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you 
like, fly jacket, fly! And it just kind of hits the ground. <laughs> uh, it didn't seem to do anything. What would you like to do? Uh, 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 CC. Uh, sure. So Cindy Q, my karate master. Oh, you got, you brought the karate master, okay? Uh, she's gonna try and like do a karate move on him. You scream karate and try and kick him. Sure. Judo chop. Uh, I'm gonna try and like disarm him. Okay. So give me a strength check. Okay. Or a strength roll an attack. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, 12? 12 is his armor class. A. Uh, nope. So, uh, roll a d4 and add your strength to it for damage. Okay. I'll tell you what happens when you try and disarm him. So does my plus one to hit, does that come in? Like, no, was that's... that on the previous roll? That or... should have been on the previous roll. Okay, so yeah. then it would have been a 13. Okay, so okay. Uh, that's a miss. He's a displacer janitor. Shit. <laughs> uh, okay. That's why there always seem to be two of him. <laughs> yes. So it's a D4 plus my strength, you said? Yes. Okay, so that's going to be a five. Okay. Uh, so so you, you do some, you know, lock hold and try and get the bat out of his hand. Uh, the bat seems to be fused to his hand. Oh, gross. Uh, and, and now that you're... Um, um, and now that you're uh, up close to it, you can see the the bat carved into it has... And you've never really noticed them before because it's just wood grain. But now they're glowing deep blood red. Has a bunch of symbols that match the book that you all saw. Good. Good, good. Good. So. Good. Great. Uh, it's super gross. <laughs> uh... Uh, and Jay. I would like to float, throw a floppy disk at this man and run away. <laughs> Make an agility attack. Not going to go well. Yeah, 20, not 20, not 20, not 20. I rolled a six. Okay, yep. It oh, ineffectively no. bounces off of him. It's a, it's a three and a half. <laughs> yes. Five, that five, floppy. Reaction, like the rational yeah. reaction to someone I... brutally murdering a woman in front of you. Did also get it backwards earlier. I'm sorry. It was the 1.5 inch discs that were the small hard ones. These are oh. the big floppy ones. Okay. So it's really ineffective. <laughs> yeah. So it's even worse. But it makes a fun noise. Oh, it's like thunder. Um. Okay. <laughs> uh, that didn't do anything. Uh, it's Gus's but turn. But am I running away? <laughs> oh well, you could run away for sure. Oh yeah, then I'm doing that. Uh, Gus will attempt to attack the Karate Master, Cece's character. Uh, 17 to hit. Yeah. <laughs> Bye. For nine damage. Yeah, my two HP is <laughs> gone. <laughs> my karate didn't save me. Not much of a master, Cindy Q. <laughs> uh, he once again pulps you. <laughs> Splitting up's a good idea in theory. Until you need 15 people to fight the janitor. Yeah, what happens if the funnel ends with all of them die? <laughs> I think the world ends. <laughs> good. <laughs> Um, we'll start, we'll, we'll have to start over next time. It'll be like Groundhog Day, but oh, Halloween okay. Day. It's Halloween <laughs> H2O. That's not what that movie is about. Um, uh, okay, Liz. <laughs> They're seeing oh, two of baby. her friends, uh, you know, being brutally murdered. She's going to turn and run away with, uh, <laughs> cheerleader. <laughs> <laughs> Just, nope, bye. <laughs> That's the smart option, honestly. Yeah. Uh, no, you two book it, uh, <laughs> and with a head start, you can easily outrun him because he's smoked his entire life. Uh, 
Um, uh, can I get luck checks from the two of you? Probably uh, not. Uh, which actually means you have to roll under your luck score. Oh. Well, that's not going to work. Surprisingly, yes. I think you subtract your modifier to it. What if you're... Oh, okay. And if you have a... If you have a negative modifier, you add to it. So you, you want a low number. Mm. Oh, well, that's to that then. <laughs> <laughs> no, but you had such a high luck, didn't you? Or was that a different I had character? A, that's a different character. Okay. Um, I just have a 10 in luck for Brittany GE. So okay. that's a 16. <laughs> okay. And Jay? I rolled a 9. My luck is 12. <laughs> okay. So, so you did it. Yes. Okay. Uh, when you were going through... Uh, the utility closet earlier, you found his pacer keys. So you have the keys to the car now. Cool. And we oh, steal his car. Can you drive? No. How hard could But I've be? seen it done on TV. <laughs> okay. You you have the keys now. <laughs> this thing is not an automatic. This thing is a manual. <laughs> So you're just going to be stripping gears the whole <laughs> way, just lurching. <laughs> he's catching up to you running. No, not even. He's Jason walking yeah. and catching up to us. My car. <laughs> Why does the engine sound so loud? <laughs> I don't know. Just you. make it go. <laughs> just not shifting gears. <laughs> <laughs> First gear the whole way. <laughs> oh my god, I'm going to die. Oh no, incredibly that noisy easy. low speed chase. <laughs> <laughs> he just keeps tapping on the window. You gotta let you gotta let me in, kids. <laughs> he forget to take off the parking brake. <laughs> <laughs> Sparks. <laughs> run him down with the car. Oh my god. You could try and run him down with the car. If we succeed at doing that, it will not be intentionally. <laughs> and you're going 10 you miles an hour it. so <laughs> you finally let off the parking them. break and just <laughs> ran right into him it's so less a running him over and more of a slowly kind of folding him under the car <laughs> try that um so what do I roll for that <laughs> for a drive for, for attempting to hit him um What's your best stat? Let's see. Let's figure um, it out. <laughs> um, for Brittany G, it's, um, I, well, I have two 11s with stamina and personality. Okay. <laughs> Make a personality roll. This is wisdom-ish. Ah. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's a 10. <laughs> Yep. Pedal was the word it didn't like. I don't know. Yeah, because I was like, what does added permitted term pedal mean? Weird. Marty fixed. Marty should have fixed it, but I I don't know. That's very odd. Uh, you got an 11, you said? Yeah, uh, a 10. 10, okay. <clears throat> yeah, with a 10, you have seen enough movies and seen your parents drive enough that you do figure out enough of how to drive it. And are you trying to hit him or just get away? Sorry. I was dying laughing. <laughs> and the main goal is to get away, but if we hit him on the way out, that okay. would be super duper swell. Uh, with a 10, I think you can just get away. Okay. Um, okay. And no one looked in a locker, so I don't have to roll the D20 locker table. What about a nice find useful? a fucking <laughs> weapon or something? Uh, you can find <laughs> weapons in there. Oh, dang it. I mean, we have a car, cards. though. Hey, they're so. not great. <laughs> uh, you can find a non-magical baseball bat, for instance. It'd be better than a report card. Um, I don't know. Report every... cards, you could just kind of like... Paper cut. <laughs> paper cut. Yeah, paper cut. Paper them. cut. Paper cut. So are we it doesn't do damage. It's annoying. Um, okay, so the two of you... Uh, head back in to town. So let's go to the church. Uh, a relatively unassuming building with the customary cross and steeple become visible from a block away as you approach. 
The small parking lot in front of the building is almost entirely empty, save for a two-door sedan which sits idling in its nearest parking stall. No lights are visible inside the building, though you notice immediately the front door is ajar. Huh, I thought it was supposed to be a door! We did it, everybody. Did it. Um, so the car is idling, you said, which means it's on? Correct. Trixie's gonna go rap on the window of the car. Like, uh, yeah, they've, it, it's, um, there's no inside. It's unlocked, but the keys are in the ignition, obviously on. And you can hear the radio, and the radio is playing... You're a little surprised the radio still works because it's the it's K Owl 99.9, which is the town's only like local radio station that's not from uh, Ruby Hollow or anything like that. Um, and let's see, Car uh, Haunted. The the show is playing. What's re- the show that's playing is What's Really Happening with Doctor Alex Ham. Uh, which is like a, a an art bell kind of show. It's like a three hour call in show of people talking about aliens and conspiracy theories and stuff like that. And he's talking about how the 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 blackout is planned and it's actually a lizard person false flag, um, and that no one can be trusted. And Least of all, Kathy Ireland. Kathy Ireland. <laughs> She's a swimsuit model and a also, alleged lit- lizard person. Also, not to uh, correct you, but uh, the radio <clears throat> station would probably be out of the like better town next to Ruby Hollow, right? Was, didn't we have like a oh, Violet like... Hill? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I thought Violet Hill was worse. I thought it was supposed to be no, better. That's Violet Hill. <laughs> that's, vi- that's, a, that's the third town. <laughs> No, I think I think Island it Hill's a shithole. Because I thought <laughs> also that Island very Hill was, foggy. If I remember from the episode correctly, because wasn't that where we had to go to go to the like car dealership because it was like or car rental place? Because right, like, but you went to the crappy oh. car rental place. Oh right, yeah. right. <laughs> you're right. When you're right, you're right. Yeah. Um. Okay. So. Uh. Uh, but so the car is on and unlocked. Add one car to your inventory. We've gotten three car. cars. Yeah. Like we win by getting all of the cars, right? Yeah, I mean, yeah. probably. That way we can escape. <laughs> and Tr- Trixie, by the way, can definitely drive. Like that is something she would know how to do. Um. Okay. Uh, what would you all like to do? Go get that cross. Okay. Finnett is going to remain in the shadows as the mysterious loner. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, Bet is going to rush into the church because uh, she's woken up from another fainting spell and feels safe in the church. So. Okay. Oh, that is a mistake. I like it. <laughs> <laughs> um, let's see. I'm just gonna pull out a lighter to make sure she can see. Um, going to hide a whoopee cushion on one of the pews. <laughs> nice. <laughs> um, this is gonna be hilarious on Sunday. Uh, so uh, funny. Uh, so rushing in, you can see that there is a faint flickering light probably candles coming from the back of the church in the office. Is there like a pastor or something that they we would know their name? Some Yeah, yeah, it's a uh, Pastor Gunderson. A Is good... the cross up where it's supposed to be? No. Okay. Ugh, why did we have to be the ones to go to the church? This is, like, literally the worst thing that could happen on this adventure. Why? The church is a safe place. No, because the cross is missing. 
Maybe the thing we they, need. Maybe they just took it down for repairs or something. Yeah, try to they straighten it out. If they were going to repair it, they would have done a long time ago. That thing is practically falling. Or maybe, you know, it's Halloween. Maybe some kids, like, came in and, like, took it or something. Believe know? me, I would have been the first to do that. We have to figure out where it is. Well, I, well, the pastor would know in. where it is, right? I mean, I guess. Yeah, the pastor's yeah. probably friendly. We should go. We should go to hospital. Absolutely. That was a great idea. Um, okay. So. Yo, Mr. Gunderson, what up? I got your supply right here. <laughs> Be cool. No. <laughs> Um, um, uh, he's sim- around, don't worry. Uh, similar to Cops Gus. in this town don't do shit. Uh, well, that's true. Uh, similar to... <laughs> they're gonna stumble it. Hey, Lou, there's been a murder! <laughs> huh. What was... Tell- someone was telling us something about a murder earlier. Eh, probably nothing. Um, uh... The orb is crying. Uh, similar to Gus, the party will find, uh... Pastor Gunderson mumbling to himself at the back of the church saying I don't know why my cat is yeah I, f- I fed you before we had I got in here you're fine feed him now <laughs> feed him now um, that's what the, the pastor is saying uh, no, the pastor is saying my years of study taught me nothing the Lord didn't make man in his image it was man that made gods in our own image but what if a man could become a god? Uh, okay. And uh, he's dual wielding a cross and a Bible. <laughs> Is the cross fused to his arm? You would say both are. Oh. Interesting. Gross. Anybody have a can of hairspray? Uh. Nope. Well, there goes the right, there goes the flame barrel option. Well, Brittany Infinity has uh, a switchblade, and she's gonna move through the shadows and try to like come up behind him and stab him. <laughs> we found our thief, everybody. <laughs> uh, yeah, give me an attack roll. Uh, okay. Okay. Uh, I was gonna say you can use a D twenty four if you have it, but I don't know if you do. A D what? D twenty four. That's how this game oh. works. When you don't get advantage in this game. You go up or down the dice chain. Oh, okay. So, uh, I have one if you would like, or let me see if you just go I have roll the, uh, 24. I have roll the... a d20 plus a d4. Uh, yes. Or you could roll a d12. Twice. <laughs> <laughs> Not twice, because that doesn't quite work. If you said, did you, say, did you say you had the app, Liz? Yeah, that, I have that app you put in chat. Yeah, that should board. be in there too. Okay, so I see it. So I'll roll that. And it's a twenty-one. <laughs> oh, nice. oh wait, is that uh? What's what's my strength? Plus one. That's a twenty-two. Ooh. Okay, so yeah, you <laughs> stab him so good with your switchblade. Like, and he slowly turns around. Shockingly good. Here, let's get your. Let's get, let me find a dagger stats. Let's see, dagger. Uh... It's a D four. That's it's about the way the night's been going. Uh. <laughs> Da, da, da. Turns Never out, when the ever. characters are designed to be expendable, they don't have a whole lot of survivability to them. Yeah. Uh, because you specifically said you were sneaking, uh, you the dagger sneak will do a d10. You basically get a oh, sneak Oh, crap! Attack. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, so the way... Yeah, daggers are better at backstab in Dungeon Crawl Classics. <laughs> 
Oh, I rolled a nine. Okay. <laughs> do do you add anything to your strength? Um. Oh, it's plus strength. Yes. So that's a plus one. Uh, so that's a ten. <laughs> you do ten damage to him. <laughs> And he screams in pain because what the hell? <laughs> oh shit! Uh, uh, what would the rest of you like to do? I'm going to say you get a surprise against him. Uh, Has he done anything yet? Say that again. Has he done anything yet, or no. did he just stab? He just stabbed a priest. Okay. Cool. cool. Uh, panic and slap him in the face with the buzzer's <laughs> ring, which is going to go great with my minus two strength. <laughs> okay, uh, so roll a d20. Sorry, the cat has found a cable, and she's trying to pull it out from under oh, the that's door. Not good. <laughs> no, it's not attached to anything. It's, it's an oh, okay. It's just... That's, it was... a... that's a seven. Seven... No, he's, gonna, as well as I he's a little too. hardier than that. Yeah. Um, my buzzer gonna... ring would have made a funny sound. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm gonna take my thigh master and throw it at him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a thrown master? weapon for sure. It's, <laughs> have you ever seen one of those hand squeezers? It's like that, but bigger. Yeah. Oh. It's for your thighs. Uh, mm. They're like big metal pretzels. Um. Yeah. Yeah, this thing is not aerodynamic at all, but make make a make a agility <laughs> check. Uh fifteen. That's a hit. <laughs> okay. So <laughs> am I what am I rolling for that? D4, I guess. <laughs> it's probably supposed to be a D2, but <laughs> Uh, I got a one. So. Ow! Did you throw a thigh master at me? I'll scream and throw the thigh master at him and be like, "Sorry, Pastor Gunderson." And then just it really it. hurt. <laughs> Who throws a thigh master? Honestly, come on. You fight like I don't even know what. Who does that? <laughs> Why do you carry that with you? <laughs> I'm really enthusiastic about aerobics. <laughs> do, Dan, do you want to do anything before? Like I said, this guy hasn't actually done anything. We just started attacking him. I mean, he's muttering under his breath about how man can assert will over God. It's real cultist shit. He's got a fuse and fuse hand gross thing. Okay, um, Trixie's gonna try and, like, Trixie's, like, four foot, like, seven, but has a really, like, she's, like, stocky with a low center of gravity. She's just gonna fucking bull rush him. Okay, sure. Uh, is it D20? Yep. Yep, yep, yep. That is, it's an 18. That's a hit. Trying to knock him down. Okay, uh, let me see. He's not particularly strong. So yeah, he will. Let me roll a fortitude check. No, he'll fail. Okay. So yeah, you knock him to the da to the ground and uh, he hits his head really hard and he kind of, he passes out. Ew, 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 ew. I check his pulse. It's faint, but he's alive. Okay, we're good. And then I'm going to, uh, like, I don't want to touch the cross directly because it was fused to his hand. But if I have, like, uh, how big is the cross? Uh. Oh, is it? Hold on. If it was supposed to be hung up on the wall, it's not exactly going to be small. Yeah. It is small enough that he can hold it in his hand. I was sort of picturing, like, like the thickness of, like, this water bottle, but, like, a large cross, basically, so he can hold it, but it's, like, more of a staff than, like, a oh. handheld thing. No, it's five feet, apparently. 
Yeah, that's like bigger than Trixie. That's um, a child size, yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's yeah, so what Trixie doesn't want to touch it directly, so what she's gonna and you've never seen Trixie without her hoodie. She's going to take her hoodie off. And, oh, and I, I've got an extra unitard in my inventory if you wanna use that. And... Trixie's like by the way, you never realize this Trixie's like jacked kind of. Like it's still a little bit jacked. Um, but no, she's already taken off her, her hoodie, so she will wrap it in the uh, she will wrap the cross with it. And and will carry it on her back. Uh as though there's some kind of metaphor when there isn't. Not the least uh, bit symbolic of anything. No, not not at all symbolic. But she is carrying a cross on her back. I mean, are you sure you don't want to touch it? Yeah, yeah, I'm sure I don't yeah. want to touch it. Okay. Uh, so there's the cross. What would you like to do with the Bible? Uh, I mean, the notes didn't mention anything about a Bible, but it is kind of stuck to his hand. Yeah. Okay, leaving it stuck there. I don't want to leave it there. I feel like we need to take that with us. Oh, the Bible is not... Is that the smart move, or is that the dumb teenager in a horror movie? The the Bible is not stuck to his hand. Just Just the cross was. Oh, okay. So it's just a Bible. We don't need a Bible. So Trixie will uh, shove it in the back of the truck, get into the front seat, move the front seat all the way forward, and still probably have trouble reaching the pedals. Uh, I'm going to pick my thigh master back up. <laughs> sure. <laughs> like very gingerly and then like run away. Ew, 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 ew. Which Britney was this again, Liz? <laughs> Britney Infinite. See? I, see? <laughs> we do it. Um, okay. So, it is 9.45, so it's getting a bit late. We, we still have probably a little over, or a little under half the adventure to do. Do we want to try and power through or uh, call it for here and pick up again next time. I am okay are... picking up next time. Okay. Yeah, if, as, if even one person says, let's pick up next time. We'll pick up next time. Okay. So, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll talk to you all separately, or together, and we'll we'll plan another day. Um, it was really fun. Uh, thank you yeah. all for joining me. I hope you all had as much fun as I did. Um, uh, Got the killer characters. Was that enjoyable for you? Uh, no. No, oh, but it was funny. It's hard. Uh, it's meant to do it. Um, so. It's meant to. It's, and I do think Dungeon Crawl Classic sort of has this this reputation for being deadly, but really this part is the only part that's truly deadly like everything else is fair and um it's not hard to kill characters especially at this level that's the thing at no level yeah yes yeah, it's not hard it's not hard to kill characters ever if a character puts themselves into a situation that gets them killed that's different yeah like you standing know. next to a person you're dead instantly um but yeah okay so uh we'll come back to crater valley again sometime soon uh, amazing I love it outros and plugs Dan I'm um, Dan rest in peace Marie uh, you were too pure for this world uh, Trixie good job uh, this is so fun guys uh, I'm enjoying myself so much. You guys all have. I, I'm going to plug playing role playing games with your friends, uh, and respecting people. Period. Um, Liz. I'm Liz, and yeah, I'm trying to do it. Where I'm going to try to make sure Brittany Infinite survives because she's the one with the lowest stats. <laughs> do it <laughs> so she's just gonna keep on stabbing 
<laughs> um, uh, Jay. Uh, well, I'm down one floppy disk and one whoopee cushion, but that whoopee cushion will be hilarious on Sunday. <laughs> so. At the pastor's funeral. <laughs> Not he's technically dead. He's not dead. He's not dead. Not yet. At Brittany A's funeral, or G, I don't remember who died. There's going to be a handful of funerals this weekend, yeah. okay? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Julie's parents. Uh, right, yep. Possibly uh, Julie. Cindy Q, yeah. Cindy Q. Marie. Marie. Uh, Who's going to go to the school for bright futures? <laughs> Uh, 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 hi, I'm CC AK Soup AK Soup. Um, I want to plug the overlays that I'm overly proud of. <laughs> Real good. <laughs> um, and also playing DD or DCC with your friends. The whatever, whatever flavor game that you like is. Is you're having fun and not hurting anyone, then that's a good time by me. Um, I will, as always, echo what everyone said. Play play games with your friends. Uh, Dungeon Crawl Classics is from Goodman Games, goodman-games.com. You can buy the full rulebook for $25, and it's over there, but I have an episode about it, and it's that thick. I slam it on the desk. You could... You could really do some damage. That's a D4 right there. Um, and uh, Crater or Blackout in Crater Valley is also available on that website and on Drive Through RPG. Uh, check them out. They're both great, great things and uh, very fun. Uh, next week is Tasting Menu is back on Monday. Uh, we're going to do Will of Bat. And Star Chasers are back on Wednesday. Um, and we'll... Um, we'll be back with this uh, sometime in the future and Gracefall will be back in two weeks to resolve that cliffhanger. Uh, be it's kind. fine. It's totally fine. <laughs> when I started this chat, Dan did say I thought you were just going to tell us we were all dead. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, but your character. <laughs> we're starting over, everybody. No, uh, it's going to be okay. Um, uh, be kind to Is each other. It? It's probably going to be fine. Uh, it's not my fault? No. But... You, you did let Mira make what? this character. <laughs> Y'all can stop her. <laughs> I'm going to try, but the question is, do we explode first? Yeah, well, I think some people might, we might have to have a talking to. She there already... is going to be words. <laughs> no one stopped her from creating the <laughs> the abomination that is Cork. We weren't there. <laughs> yeah, but nobody <laughs> talked to her to after it. <laughs> this isn't my fault. <laughs> yeah, I don't understand why I'm being punished. With monster written across. I don't understand why I'm being punished for my actions. <laughs> uh, that's it. See, this is what this is what role playing games with your friends means. It's fun. Have a good night, everybody. <laughs>